Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hextuber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Seeing as I've had some requests to talk about frame-by-frame -frame animation, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on Edward Maybridge, or Maybridge, or however you want to say it. Uh, he's a, a pioneer of photography and motion photography, and he was operating at a time when still photography and animation and motion photography were all kind of part of the same thing before they developed into different disciplines. And this is one of his most famous pieces of work. It's the horse galloping. And he took a series of photographs to show the horse in motion. And this was because he was commissioned to prove whether or not horses had all four of their legs off the ground at one time, which you can see is in fact the case from this photograph here. And you might be looking at this and thinking, what does this have to do with animation? Well, the basis of animation is that you have 24 or 25 frames a second, or 29.97 if you're in America. And a lot of people don't realize that all animation and film is in fact a series of still pictures, and there is no such thing as an actual moving picture. So to illustrate that, I've taken this picture and I've animated it in Flash very simply, just by moving each picture into the frame. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'll just press play. And you can see that we've got this little loop of all of those 16 pictures running through in Flash. And this demonstrates uh, what's known as the persistence of vision. The principle rests on the fact that our eyes temporarily retain the image of anything that we've just seen. If this wasn't the case, we would never get the illusion of an unbroken connection in a series of images, and neither movies or animation would be possible. So basically, your brain fills in the gaps in between all of these individual images and makes it seem like there is continual motion. Let's just take a look at another example very briefly. So this is a bird in flight. Again, it's photographed by Maybridge. I'll show you what he looks like. There he is. And you can see we've got a series of 26 pictures there um, of this bird flying. Let's take a look at what that looks like animated. So I've got loop on here in Flash. I'll play that through. And you can see we've got the bird flying along. And our brains are being tricked into thinking that we're seeing something moving rather than a sequence of still pictures. And this can be really useful when you're animating to bear that in mind that really it's just a trick. It's an optical illusion what you're creating. It doesn't actually move. It's just a series of pictures. Right, well, that's my lesson on the persistence of vision and an introduction to Maybridge. Why not check him out? And I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hextuber Colouring and Activity book? on my website, hextuber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.